I'm standing right behind the Tobacco River Dam. Pretty cool, there's a lot of work going on right now. But before I get this video started, I just wanna thank all my patrons, Rachel and Greg, my new patrons. Thank you everyone for your support. Without you guys, I would it would not be possible for me to get out here and film these videos and document this for historical purposes, as well as for people sending me letters through the mail. Thank you, Tad. If you wanna send me anything, I will pop my PO box up on the screen right now. Also, there's been a lot of people asking about what's happening up at Secord Dam. So if you want to go ahead and support a 24 seven live camera feed up there at Secord Dam, best way to do that is either through my PayPal or my GoFundMe page linked in the description down below. Let me go ahead, turn the camera around now, and we can take a closer look here at the Tobacco River Dam though. A lot of work going on. You can see all the scaffolding right here. Crane is positioned right here. But let's head on up this way now and we'll take a little bit closer look and we'll look at a few of the finer details as to the progress that's happening here at the Tobacco River Dam. Right now where I'm standing is actually behind the Coffer Dam here on the Tobacco River Dam. So right out here is the Tobacco River. If you follow this all the way up to the north, you'll end up at the Beaverton, at the Beaverton Dam. And right now I'm standing right where there used to be a lot of water here that used to be flowing over the Tobacco River Dam. So right now, this is located in Bay 1. Right over here on this side, we have Bay 2. So right now you can see the stop logs are actually stopping the water from going over Bay 2. And then Bay 3 over here on the far side still has the spillway intact. Uh, cables are hanging down from up there at the top, holding the stop logs up in the air for right now. But yeah, that's these cables right here are keeping the stop logs lowered on top of Bay 2. So all the water right now is flowing through that Bay 3 over there on that side. Here's this coffer dam that was flown in probably uh, two weeks ago now by the 360 ton crane. So you can kind of see it's got a lot of reinforcements all sealed down here and then back here in the back, a couple shims. So just a little bit of amount of water that's coming underneath there. So you can actually see right here the outline of where the spillways used to be. So this used to be the front of the spillway, heading up over to the top, and then that used to be the backside of the spillways over there. Right now where I'm standing is on top of the kind of weir spillway, that step spillway. We can see the rest of it down here, down there to the bottom. We'll actually take a look at what they're doing down there in a second though, but I kind of want to show you guys just kind of this right here right now, the mints scale of the scaffolding that's here right now. I guess I'll actually tell you what these guys are doing right now though. See that big drill bit right there? It's got a big coring drill bit and they're going ahead drilling through the retaining wall. On the other side of this retaining wall is buttresses that come out the sides that kind of anchor the dam into the earthen embankment. I'll actually probably post up a picture uh, maybe from Edenville Dam over there on that side, we can kind of see those buttresses uh, that are jutting out since a little bit of the earthen embankment is eroded there. But they're going ahead, drilling out these that go into those buttresses, and then they're putting rebar through into those buttresses. Just some more engineering work to secure this dam and make sure that it is safe. Also down there. So you can actually see that drill down there pouring into the retaining wall and then that's going into the buttresses like I said. So after all those holes are drilled and that is anchored then they can go ahead remove all the scaffolding that's in here right now and then they can pour the 18 inch retaining wall right up here against this existing wall. So that will have to be done in a few different steps. Um, kind of let it here in a few different pours but that retaining wall is probably gonna be poured by the time I post this video. You know, I've been really cranking through videos, filming quite a bit lately. But yeah, this is just immense scale over here on the Tobacco River Dam. Pretty cool. Give you a shot over top of the uh, Coffer Dam. All right, let's head on down here now. We'll take a look at what these guys are working on. Before we go ahead and check out some of the other work, I wanna jump into some drone video here. 
So this is flying towards the southwest, kind of from the M30 bridge. You can see all that scaffolding located inside the Tobacco River Dam. This is kind of the same view that we're able to get from my live camera. So if you're interested in what's happening here, make sure you check out the Tobacco River live camera. You can definitely see all the scaffolding located over here on the west retaining wall. So we'll come up here to towards the front of the dam, probably about 50 feet altitude right now. And now we're going ahead and facing towards the south. Pretty easy to see that that third spillway is still intact, but spillway one and two have been completely removed. And I'll actually go ahead and post some of the raw video of that spillway being removed with the breaker. A couple photos as well, and I'll do some voiceover kind of telling you guys what is happening there. Um, but that is a pretty cool video actually being able to see uh, how these spillways were removed. So we'll come up here nice and close. Again, all the scaffolding is laid here so that these guys are able to get up there uh, with these drills and drill through into the buttresses to be able to install that rebar. And this is being done because when they go ahead and pour this new 18 inch retaining wall against this existing retaining wall, um, that's going to add a lot more weight and actually start to pull a little bit more. So that's just going to go ahead and strengthen the existing retaining wall before all that new concrete is poured right against it, adjacent to it. So again, we're right here, right in front of the coffer dam now, looking down kind of on the job site. Coffer dam is actually sealing pretty good. There's only a little bit of water flowing underneath it. Looks like they have some sandbags directly behind uh, the steel there on the bottom of it to kind of funnel whatever water is leaking underneath it right there by those wood shims over to where it is being pumped out over there on the left hand side of the screen. We can see these new steel beams uh, secured to the retaining wall as well as these circular beams between. Uh, these were installed before they went ahead and did the spillway removal. So just some more support uh, to go ahead and secure the concrete, that rebar reinforced concrete a little bit more. Great view looking up at the crane. This crane over here on the Tobacco River side is a 150 ton crane. The one over there on the Edenville Dam side is a 100 ton crane. And the one that they actually went ahead and rented and had installed the coffer dam was a 360 ton crane. So good shot over here. We can see the spillway three, all the water flowing through the center of it right now. I'm gonna go ahead, gain altitude though, and we'll fly over here towards the other side of the dam. And I'll give you a view of what things look like from that side. So this pole over here on the left-hand side has the security cameras on it for the dam. I do want to mention, though, that people cannot go out here. This is private property. Uh, you cannot go out here or else it will be considered trespassing. I get permission before I go out here, and I am escorted. So I do want to go ahead and mention that, that please do not go out there and trespass. You know, keep watching my videos. You can see a lot more from my videos than you can even if you went out there and tried to see things in person yourself. So great shot, great aerial view here of looking down on spillway three that is still intact. Uh, the job site over here on the west side with all the scaffolding in place along the west side retaining wall. And we can see that um, blue tarp underneath that blue tarp down here is another coffer dam. We'll actually see this when I jump back to the in-person video when I was out here filming on this day. Um, but all that water coming out of those pipes is being pumped from uh, a crack over there as well as directly behind the weir spillways. So right here down at the bottom of the weir spillways, they're drilling this right here right now. And over here is actually where they're pumping a lot of this water that's coming from the dam itself over there on the other side of the coffer dam as well as coming back in from this side. All that water is being pumped over to go end up downstream. Maybe take a look at the other side of that in a little while, but you can actually see this drill pouring through the retaining wall right now. Quite a slow process. It's like they got two drills going on right now. Over here is some of those cores. You can see some of those concrete pieces that are from the retaining wall. So that's pretty interesting. Right now, these are the new rebars that are going to reinforce and hold the retaining wall when they go ahead and pour this new wall here. And then you can see down here they have some epoxy 
in those holes. Those will be straightened back up after that epoxy goes ahead and gets dried. And then that plastic piece down there in the middle is to keep water from entering into the retaining wall. So pretty cool, kind of just waterproofing it. You can see the old uh, rebar over here that's been cut off. I remember if you go back a couple of videos, I said that they couldn't use the existing rebar that was installed in here when they went ahead and poured the new weir spillway over here. So those were cut off because they were designed for a different retaining wall. Now, these are the correct ones. These are the ones that are going to be installed for the new 18 inch retaining wall that's get poured in here. Jumping back to some of that drone video again, we are facing towards the north. So this river right to the north of here is the Tobacco River, hence why this is called the Tobacco River Dam. But if you follow that up a little bit further towards the north, you'll actually run into Beaverton Dam. I was actually there not too long ago and filmed a interview as well as a tour of that dam, which is currently operational, but I'll be posting that video pretty soon. Um, I also did get permission to put a live camera up there located directly on that dam. I'm going to go actually create a GoFundMe page. I'll post the link for that in the description down below. If you want to go ahead and support that, it would be kind of cool actually seeing a operational dam up there. I'm thinking a 360 degree camera would be great because we'd be able to pan and look downriver as well as upriver from there. And I do have permission for this. FERC already did go ahead and give approval. So pretty much just waiting on funds. I'll also post my PayPal link in the description down below if anyone wants to send anything through there and support those efforts. But back here to the Tobacco River Dam, again, we can kind of see the pipes that are pumping out that water that is seeping through the backside. This is a coffer dam right here underneath this blue tarp. So coffer dams are not completely watertight, so that's a little bit of water that is seeping through there. And this spillway too, located right here in the center of the screen, has stop logs on it. We can see there's actually four stop logs on the top of that, and the cables running towards the top of those stop logs are able to raise and lower it with the crane. So looks like these trucks over here are from Concrete Cutting and Boring Company. I'm guessing that is actually where these uh, boring drills are from that they're using. Another great shot here behind the dams looking at all the water that's flowing through spillway 3. And you can actually see a little bit of that rebar uh, sticking out right along the retaining wall over there on the east hand side. The original plan for those retaining walls was actually to make them a little thicker than they are currently in the design. So now they're able to make them 18 inches thick. That is the current design, but you never know. These numbers can always change as we progress a little bit further on down the road. Great shot here, looking at the guy's work from Fisher Contracting on the scaffolding. You know, everyone working on this project just is doing a great job. Uh, we got Spicer, Fisher Contracting. They're the main ones here on site. Sorry if I left out anyone else, but you know, everyone working on these projects, the work that I'm seeing is just phenomenal. They're working really fast, really hard to get these dams rebuilt and the lakes restored. So we'll come over here directly over the top of the catwalk on this dam. So as I'm talking right now, the catwalk is actually being removed from the Edenville Dam but thought it would be cool to kind of come directly over top of the coffer dam and get that perspective from the top down view. You can actually see about how big this coffer dam was when they went ahead and set this and secured it down in place. Looks like that bird almost took out the drone right there. You know, uh, these barn swallows like to really live around these dams by bridges. So they're usually the typical ones that are a little bit more hazardous to the drone and a little bit more blunt with wanting to attack it. We'll come around towards the front side of the dam now and look at the scaffolding and coffer dam from this angle. There was a couple people that actually asked in the comments, um, do I get permission to film people on the crew here? Uh, and the answer is yes. If, if I'm there filming in person on site, I ask the workers if I'm filming something up close if they want to be on the video or not. If they don't, that's fine. I can completely film without having them in the video. But up here with the drone, uh, I don't need to ask for permission. We're not close enough to even be able to identify anyone from this height. So this is kind of free airspace. So up here on the top, right down here is where they're drilling uh, to put those rebar in. Now I'm up here where that water is being pumped over. So you can see down there is where I just was. They're pumping all that water over there. 
They have another pump over here that they're pumping water that's coming down in through here. A lot of this water is just kind of coming underneath the coffer dam and from the steel coffer dam over here on this side. I'll go ahead and I'll hold the GoPro over here on this side. And maybe you guys can see that a little bit better, but that is the steel wall that's running all along the side of here, keeping the water out of the job site behind me. And right over here is the sill that all that water is going over, ending up downriver on the Tobacco River. So we have Bay 1 here. That's where all the work's happening right now because this is all just getting this prep to pour this new retaining wall. After they go ahead, get this new retaining wall poured, then they can go ahead and move the job site over here to Bay 3. So over here on Bay 3, you can see the spillway is still all intact. Uh, no work going on over there right now because you can see all the water is flowing through Bay 3. After they go ahead and finish Bay 1, they can go ahead and redirect that water over here back through Bay 1 and start work on Bay 3. They will go ahead and pretty much just transfer the job site over there, uh, be working on this side of the dam, make a site that they're going to go ahead, bring some more concrete kind of like they have here, make a nice roadway up here to the top of the dam, over the top of the sill that they can go and bring the excavator with the breaker and go ahead and start removing this spillway on Bay 3. Then they can go ahead, cut off those rebar over there. You know, those are the old rebar um, that are for the incorrectly, the not correctly sized retaining wall. They changed the size of it. So we're gonna go ahead and redo the rebar. They're coring those and putting new rebar in there before they go ahead and pour the new retaining wall over there on that side. Great look behind bay two. You can see the stop logs here. So there's a total of four stop logs and they run up and down in this track, that steel track keeps them centered and then up here are the two cables that head up to the top of the dam to the catwalk and those can be raised and lowered by the crane the crane is right here over top right behind the sun it's really hard to see but that is a 150 ton crane so that is how those stop logs are raised and lowered to allow water to flow through here or not see there's a little bit of rubble down here as well right behind that weird spillway quite a bit of water coming out here right now though Definitely pretty cool being here on site at the Tobacco River Spillway and watching some of this work occur. So that's kind of a, a wrap here. I'll probably jump into some drone video and then we'll go ahead, head up to the top of the dam and see what things look like from up there. Jumping back to a little bit more of the drone video, we're over here on the west side retaining wall still looking at the scaffolding um, probably only about 25 feet in altitude right here above the uh, water i do want to mention though if anyone's interested in the equipment that i'm using make sure you check out the links in the description down below i link all the equipment i'm using and links go to amazon if you go ahead and click any of those links and order anything from amazon within 24 hours it doesn't even have to be the items that i actually have linked down there I will go ahead and I actually get a kickback. So you're actually helping the channel if you go ahead, click those links and order anything from Amazon. Another way to help out, just feel like I should mention that because there's a couple of people that didn't know that and do kind of want another way to support the channel. But yeah, we're still here um, on the north side of the dam. A shot of the uh, stop logs right here in Spillway 2. And now coming over here to Spillway 3, we can still see that concrete catwalk right in the middle of spillway three and the water flowing directly through the center of it and over top of the spillway. The new concrete spillway is actually poured uh, right there where the water is flowing over. So we'll go out this way, uh, get a whole view of the front side of the Tobacco River Dam. Up here at the top of the dam now, Take a look down here at the bottom we can see all the scaffolding so eventually they'll have to get up here and do the core over here into the buttress as well i think they were saying somewhere around 120 uh, cores they have to drill to get rebar inside of the buttresses coming out here underneath the side so again this is a good shot to the north up the tobacco river dam it's amazing this used to be wixom lake right out here temporary m30 bridge is right over that way and right here course is the Tobacco River Dam. So catwalk goes up over here at the top. 
can kind of see down there the coffer dam. So it was just standing down there a little while ago. A couple birds flying around up here as well. So let's head on over to the other side. So over here on the south side, same sort of thing. So you can see the scaffolding in place down here that they're able to kind of make a work platform, come up here and drill to reinforce and secure the retaining wall into those buttresses. This is a shot to the south, down to the Tobacco River Dam. So about a mile or two south down this river, this meets back up with the Titabwasi River, the confluence down there. And then it continues on further down to the south, ends up in Sanford Lake and Sanford Dam. But after that confluence, it's known as the Titabwasi River. So that actually joins up with the water that's over there at the Edenville Dam, almost directly across towards the east from here is the Edenville Dam. So pretty cool. Seeing the sights from here, you can actually see the Coffer Dam over here on this side as well, and a lot of the riprap over there. Did get some interesting information though. You know, I told you guys that this riprap comes out of Bayport, but I do have an opportunity to actually go out there to Bayport to the rock quarry and show you guys exactly where that riprap comes out of. So an actual tour of the stone quarry. So if you guys are interested in that, make sure you leave a comment down below and let me know that you do want to see that. I think there's a lot of interest around the riprap as to where it comes from. So I do think a lot of people would be interested in knowing where it is mined from and get a tour of the stone quarry down there. And here's kind of the whole job site over here behind me. So they got some steps, some stairs up here now so that people don't have to walk up and down the earthen embankment, erode anything, also safety purposes. A lot safer going up and down those. But from personal experience, it's actually a lot harder walking up those steps than just walking up the earthen embankment. There's so many more steps there, but definitely a safer. And here is the 150 ton crane. So get a shot of that. This is the crane that they use to, you know, raise and lower the stop logs as well as use it as their main workhorse for lifting in different materials into and off of the site. You know, if you guys watch this video this long, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment or question down below. I go through every single one, read them all and answer any questions that are asked. Also make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. It really helps a ton and I really appreciate all my subscribers. And until the next video, I'll see you then. This will be the final drone shot here in this video. Just going to do a nice wide angle pullback. So drone is facing towards the south and I am flying backwards towards the north. And I'm actually going to pull back far enough that we will be able to see kind of the whole entire area. Maybe be able to see Edenville Dam in the background. If not, I'll actually just kind of drop an arrow so you guys can see uh, where the Tobacco River Dam is located. Uh, in relationship to the Edenville Dam. So gaining altitude even further, probably between 100 and 200 feet. Uh, the horizon out there is looking pretty white. It was definitely a very humid day when I was out there. See a couple of those trees sticking out of the water over on the right hand side. M30 temporary bridge, that is a Bailey bridge located right there entering the screen. And then entering the screen over here on the left right now is uh, Strikers Marina. So that area in front of where Strikers Marina is located used to be completely all filled with water. Um, now it's kind of just vegetation growing out there though. And Edenville Dam is located way off there in the very background. I'll actually drop an arrow now so you guys can see where that is. Thanks for watching and make sure you hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video. Also make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next videos I will be posting and leave your questions, comments, and suggestions below. As always, I just want to give a massive thanks to the people who support me on Patreon. Never underestimate the value of your contribution to keeping this channel going. Thank you.